All right, kiddo, strap in, because there's no time for chit-chat as there's an epidemic going on where marketers just like yourself have no idea how to write detailed ad briefs that actually get you back amazing clips for your UGC ads to scale your e-commerce brand. So today, right in front of your eyes, instead of teaching you how to write a brief, I'm going to do it in front of you so you can see the whole thought process, and I'm going to find a product that we write this brief for in less than 60 minutes. We're going to find something that's a problem-solving product because I really want to try out a bunch of different angles. All right, so we're scrolling around. Oh my God, it's yeah, Noel. I absolutely love this guy. If you haven't seen his bodybuilding videos, this guy is daddy mode 100%. You know, your boy's got to get some gains this summer. I, I can't just be a stick figure for life. Ladies and gentlemen, call me a pirate because I think I just found some treasure. So this brand called Purpose White is selling a tooth cleaner. Now it's not a toothbrush. It's actually a tooth cleaner for plaque specifically. It's kind of like a tool that you see at the dentist's office. I think this is actually really interesting. I haven't seen much like it, but they are crushing it. I mean, some of their ads got 12 million views, which is ridiculous. But I saw this one right here. This is pretty simple. They use the text to speech. Let's see if it's more of a dropshipping type of website here. Nope. Judging by that logo and debut theme, this clearly has to be a legitimate nine figure e commerce brand empire. <laughs> and the Luke's reviews. Oh my goodness. But hey, they are making some money, even though the website looks like complete basura. So going here to their ad, they're going with this allows you to clean your teeth at home. So this is a very very basic. Okay, no one actually knows this product exists. Level one marketing awareness, and you're just selling them on essentially the benefits of why you should use it. Now, this simple document I'm about to show you is how I script my UGC ads that have generated millions of dollars. And if you look at it, it's not too complicated. It's really just a table that breaks down all the different elements of the angles that you're potentially going to try out. Now, obviously, the best briefs have multiple angles, multiple message points so that you can test and see what resonates the most with your target audience in terms of what problems, the benefits, the use cases, because if you try to mash them all into one big ad, you don't really know why that ad worked or why it didn't work. So I like to break it down usually by having four to six different angles that I want to try, which could be problem solution. It could be a how to ad. And when you really look at it, that's how we break down this ad. So let's say the ad angle is a how to. Well, I'll have multiple hooks that are how to related, then multiple benefits that correlate to the how to of what we're trying to do. So if we're trying to achieve a healthier smile, then I'm going to have benefits that relate to that. And then when it comes to the action, that's just what the UGC creator is doing. So if I'm going to have a clip of them just talking in front of their camera, that's what I'm going to write in the action. And then setting is usually, okay, where are you filming? Is this in your room? Is it in your bathroom? And then the lines is actually what they're going to say. And then for editor notes, this is usually what I want to tell my editor to do in terms of maybe speeding things up, maybe having a B-roll clip here. Just specific notes I think will spice up the edit. But I've also seen people where they don't have editor notes and instead will have something like emotion. So for this specific clip of this line, I want you to have the emotion of being sad, of being happy, of being enthusiastic. So you can always mix and match and play around, but I usually will put the emotion in the action section of saying, hey, this is how I want you to say the line. You're going to be performing this specific action. So now that you've seen the brief document, let me show you the research process that allows me to create profitable ads for brands doing six and seven figure months. So I always start with what is my target audience? What are the different buying personas? It could be male. It could be female. It could be specific ages. It could be specific demographics. You really don't know until you do the research of reading customer reviews, of going and looking at the marketing of videos online for this product and kind of getting a feel as to who's making more videos with this type of product. And then you need to have an understanding of their pain points. What are they dealing with right now that they hate dealing with and want to solve immediately in their life? And what's the transformation? What are the benefits? What are the use cases they're really trying to get out of your product? Because your product might have a thousand different features, but in reality, people only care about maybe one or two main things. Then to deeply understand your customer, you should understand what other alternative products have they tried to solve this problem that didn't work for them. So if you're trying to sell a solution for losing weight, I'm sure people have tried diets, they've tried pills, they've tried a bunch of different things that just didn't work for them. So in your ad, you should talk about that so that people feel like, oh my God, these people actually understand and get me. And of course, study your competitors ads and just ads in general to understand what frameworks, messaging, editing styles are working right now so that you can come up with that when you're doing your own briefs. Because the more information you have on all these different things, the easier it is to come up with an entertaining and educational angle, visual, all those different things that will speak directly to your target audience. But you obviously want to have multiple tries at it, which is why we do four or five, six different ad angles because you really don't know what's going to work, but you can make some educated guesses once you have the right information. Now, before we do the research for this product, if you do have an e-commerce brand that you are looking to scale with profitable UGC and graphic ads on TikTok and Facebook, my agency does exactly that, where we have taken brands from zero to 20 grand days by implementing this exact creative story scaling frameworks, where we create entertaining and educational ads that create an amazing bond with your customer and make them choose your product 
over all the other competitors. So if you are looking to outsource your ads to the experts and also have us handle the media buying on these platforms to allow you to scale your brand to all new heights, book a call down below to work with my team. Now I do have a whole video that deep dives more into the how to market any product. So I'd highly recommend checking out that video if you haven't already. But these are the basic steps that I go through. First off, understanding that I am not my target audience. You should never assume as a marketer that you know what your target audience wants because it could be a variety of different things. And the only way you're gonna know why people buy is by listening, by reading, by seeing seeing what they're saying in videos. Literally, people will tell you exactly why they bought. You just have to do the research and reverse engineer it and then say it in your own way. So you have to read good and bad reviews on Amazon. You have to read good and bad reviews on competitors' websites, which, hey, it might be hard to find bad reviews because everyone tends to fake it. But then also going on social media, TikTok, YouTube, all these different tools to see the different videos that have already been put out and also read the comment sections to see naturally what are people thinking because most people online are very negative. They're going to list out objections as to why this product doesn't make sense. Why? Oh, there's this other thing I can do instead, which is golden information for you to handle those pain points and objections in your product page. And of course, in your UGC ads as well. And of course, studying the ads of your competitors and their product pages. So let's go through step one, which is going to be going on Amazon. And I have this listing right here. And we're going to send this over to the review index, which summarizes all the reviews to give you the main talking points. Because the whole idea of doing customer research and reading reviews on Amazon is to find the benefits, the problems, the exact use cases that people are mentioning over and over over and over again. And where beginners tend to get tripped up is that they'll see one person mention one thing, but it doesn't get mentioned any other time. But you think maybe that is a use case that I want to mention. So when I read these reviews, this is a tooth cleaning product. It's supposed to help you with plaque buildup on your teeth. When we scroll down to the reviews, the real interesting thing, and I would have assumed as a marketer, and this would have been a rookie mistake, that most people are buying this obviously for themselves. But when you go to the reviews, the first thing I see is, oh, it's a dog. I use this on my 10 year old chihuahua. And I can only imagine how gross those teeth are going to be because when dogs get older, those teeth get very green. But the next review, dog's teeth, use this on my dog. I would have never thought about that. When I look at these ads, they don't show any dogs at all. So that could be a whole different marketing angle and buyer persona that hasn't been hit in this market that we could easily tap into to scale this product. And it's very similar to Manscaped because obviously there's a ton of different razors for your goatee, mustache, face, all that stuff. And they knew that. So when they marketed their product, they didn't say this is for your face. They said it was for down there, down south, because everyone knows that's where the real action matters. Now, the next thing, so I was quoted 5K to to remove the massive amount of calculus from my teeth. And this did exactly that for 30 bucks. That could be a great ad angle. I could already imagine that as a story where you're just talking to your camera of saying, hey, I went to the dentist and I didn't even realize how much buildup I had. And when my dentist told me how much it was gonna cost, it was over a thousand dollars. So of course I decided not to do that. And I found this product on TikTok that is supposedly the exact tool that dentists already use, but it only cost me $30. So let's see if it works. And then boom, they go through the process of showing their teeth now showing it afterwards so you have that dramatic demonstration and that will sell so many people because obviously dentists are incredibly expensive that is a major pain point for a lot of people as to why they'll probably have this problem and decide to do nothing about it this is another great review right here so this person hates going to the dentist so that could be a great relatable hook right there if you hate going to the dentist but want to keep your teeth healthy you need this tool now before we get into the rest of this ad juiciness if you could leave a like comment down below any ad ideas that you potentially might have after seeing all this research, I love to see your marketing brains and also let you know if I think that's a good idea down below. I mean, you're just seeing how many ad ideas I'm getting just from reading the first page of reviews. I mean, honestly, a nincompoop could do this. So don't give me any excuse. I don't know how to come up with ad ideas. It's so simple. But let's also use the review index and see what it's saying as well. So it did a really good job of removing the tartar and coffee stains off my teeth. Ooh, that's another ad angle. If you love drinking coffee, but hate the stains on your teeth, you need this product. Again, so many great things. A great substitute for cleaning sessions at the dentist. So a lot of people hate the dentist. So that should be an angle that we have to do. Clean my teeth as good as the dentist could ever. That could be another benefit right there. Removes built up plaque and stains. Does not damage your gums. So it doesn't hurt, which I'm sure is a big objection people might have of using this product. And that's just from the first reviews right there. So let's go to the next point, which is easy to use. Okay. Easy to use. I don't like to say it because you can say about any product. So that's a great thing where if you're wondering if a benefit you have is too generic, if it can be used to describe most products in the world, 
it is too generic. I will admit a lot of people were saying that was easy to use. So maybe as one of my benefits, I'll say, hey, it's easy to use and it cleans as good as a dentist. So just to spice up one benefit that I already have. Surprisingly comfortable and effective. I love the way my teeth feel after using this. Oh, I mean, there are so many good lines here. So, I mean, I can already get a good sense as to why people are buying this. Obviously though, the real research process I go through usually takes a couple of days. You're gonna read reviews from multiple Amazon listings, from multiple competitors, and we haven't even gotten into reading what the competitors are saying and i'm really curious so this is the main brand right here did they actually go through the process of doing good research and i'm sure in most cases they really don't but let's see so they said uses advanced vibrations to remove tartar from your teeth and massage your gums giving you a confident smile and fresh breath every morning there's actually some decent lines here i like that desired result of getting that confident smile and fresh breath that's really good i don't like that they don't talk about any problems like saying how dentists are expensive or maybe you don't like going to the dentist or yeah maybe you have terrible breath and that's why no Nobody actually loves you and you're going to be an ugly barnacle to your entire life. But they go really heavy on the benefits, which I can't blame them. So remove stains, plaque, and tartar from the surface of your teeth. I mean, I could also see remove stain, plaque, and years of tartar buildup in minutes. That could be really, really good. Now let's go to reviews, see what the people are saying. So we had tea and coffee stains. Okay, cool. So we could have specific messaging in one ad where we say, hey, coffee lovers, and then another one say, hey, tea lovers. So we can be more specific and understand, yeah, which is it that really is converting better. Uh, but we scroll down. I was a little scared about this because yeah, it's a needle, looks very sharp. That could be another thing that we address in our ad as an objection. So we can make our UGC creators seem very relatable by saying, yeah, when I first used this, I was a little bit nervous because I don't like needles and it looks like it could damage my teeth. But as soon as I started using it, I was amazed by how comfortable my teeth felt. I honestly never felt any better. It feels just like my Panasonic toothbrush. It has done a great job to remove the stains and it did not hurt my gums at all. My teeth just feel so much healthier, cleaner. I mean, again, so much good stuff. So what I would do after this is I would copy and paste all of these reviews into a document and then try to gather my ideas for my ad angles. But we kind of have a good sense. I mean, I, I can have somewhat of a good memory, even though I have mild Alzheimer's. So let's see what angles should we realistically be trying here? Now I've scaled multiple e-commerce brands to six figures a month using TikTok and Facebook by thinking about one core thing. And that's what is the most engaging, entertaining visual that I can use as my hook. And that usually is going to dictate what angles I go with because obviously there's problem solution ads there's three reason why ads but i always want to think about first with the different benefits and problems that my target audience has how can i visually show that in the most engaging way so obviously we're selling a product right here which is a tooth cleaner. It helps with plaque buildup. So I would imagine a really engaging visual to show the problem of people that have plaque buildup and a lot of tartar and all that gross stuff is by showing someone's mouth who just is completely wrecked. And it's just covered with plaque buildup because naturally when you look at videos like those pimple popper videos, they're so gross, but people can't stop watching them. And I would say that's a really engaging visual if I'm trying to sell this product and sell people on why they need to solve this problem before it gets this bad. So for a hook like that, I would say a problem solution ad makes the most sense. So in the hook, this would be a B-roll clip. I wouldn't actually find an influencer whose teeth absolutely look terrible. I would just most likely tell my editor, hey, find a clip that is really, really gross. And then we'll just have the UGC creator say the lines to camera and it'll essentially be a voiceover underneath that clip that's playing. So let's write this out real quick. So for my editor, I'd say use B-roll clip of mouth that is covered in plaque buildup. So that's gonna be the visual. And I would say that's way more important than the actual line because that's what's gonna get people engaged. And I think visuals are way more important than lines. But what line would communicate and make sense for that? Well, I would say, what's one of the problems that we've been seeing over and over again? Now, when I write my lines, I always try to do it from the first person perspective and try to use I statements. So I could do something like, I hate going to the dentist, but I noticed my teeth were getting unhealthy or I noticed my teeth were building up tartar or plaque, whatever you want to call it. So as a rough draft, I would say this line gets a job done of saying, I hate going to the dentist, but I notice plaque building up around my teeth. Now for setting, I mean, honestly, this is for the UGC creator when they're filming their clip. I would say what makes the most sense is just have them sitting in front of their camera saying this line. So I just say bedroom makes the most sense. And the action would be sitting in front of camera saying line selfie style. 
So selfie style would just be they're holding up their phone saying the line. Now I always wanna have multiple hooks for every single ad angle. So now we kinda of have to decide, do we wanna keep doing the B-roll clip of a mouth that's covered or do we wanna try something a little bit different but also mentioning the problem in the hook? Now the great thing with this specific hook is that since it's a voiceover, I could have different B-roll clips. It doesn't necessarily have to be just the mouth covered in tartar. It could start with, I hate going to the dentist. So it's a clip of a evil dentist and then I notice plaque building up around my teeth. So someone looking in the mirror, looking at their teeth just not being happy so that could be another thing where we get the creator to actually do that instead of talking directly to the camera or we get them to film a b-roll clip where we say hey film yourself you know looking at your teeth not being happy and that's just one hook right there typically for all my ad angles i like to have multiple hooks that are going on so we have to kind of make the decision and this is where the thinking kind of comes in as a constant procrastinator and overthinker i don't know if i'll be able to make a decision this quickly but let's just say for instance we want to stick with that main idea of having some shock factor going on so we'll stick with the same idea of using a b-roll clip of the mouth that is covered in plaque but is there a different line or way that we can say this hook and obviously with a problem solution you're typically going to mention different problems in that hook so we have, I hate going to the dentist, but we don't specify why. So we could maybe in another hook say, I don't want to spend thousands of dollars, et cetera. So going off this review right here where this guy said I was quoted thousands of dollars to remove all the calculus around my teeth. And again, I want to make sure if I was doing this legitimately, I would want to read more reviews saying that specific problem, because if that's the only person and there's a chance that could be the only person that ever had that problem, then I shouldn't be mentioning that. But because of the time difference, I'm just going to assume that this is a common thing. So let's go through the writing process. I mean, this is going to be a real rough draft. And obviously when you have more time, you can work on it. So let's say so my dentist said it would cost me 5k to remove the massive amount of calculus from my teeth so this could be hook number two my dentist said it would cost me 5k to remove all the calculus from my teeth and again we're using that same b-roll clip idea but again we could have another hook idea that isn't necessarily this b-roll clip of the mouth being covered we could have again the creator looking at their teeth and just not being happy with it and that could be the third problem of maybe saying that hey i just didn't like the way my smile looked so those are all the hooks right there. And typically with a problem solution, if we go through the framework, the next clip you wanna have is agitating the problem, twisting the knife, et cetera. So instead of demos, I'm just gonna do agitate problem one and maybe agitate problem two. So typically for the next sections outside of a hook, I will only do one or two variations of it. So final hook could be growing up, I was always super self-conscious about how my teeth looked and the action for the creator would be most likely looking at mirror, smiling, but being upset, shaking your head about how your smile looks. The setting that makes the most sense for that would be obviously your bathroom. And then editor notes could be to zoom in on the smile and then zoom back out. So something along those lines to keep people interested. And obviously because the action here is the creator smiling and they're not gonna be able to say the lines while doing all that, what I would just put in the action section is that this will be a voiceover. Now the key to making a winning problem solution ad is obviously understanding what are the problems your target audience has and then what is the problem that stems from having the first original problem. So in this instance where you're selling obviously the toothbrush cleaner and for a lot of people, the main problem is that they noticed they had plaque building up around their teeth. So what does that actually mean when you have that problem? Well, that means your teeth are unhealthy that means they could fall out. That means you're going to have bad breath. So those are the specific things I want to mention next. So if someone has trouble losing weight, then I want to talk about what is the problem that stems from that original problem, which could be that I'm super self-conscious about it, that I can't do basic tasks throughout the day because I don't have the energy. So we could do my teeth were always super sensitive and I, no matter how much mouthwash I used, I used, my breath smelled horrible. So that could be specific things that are obviously agitating the problem. And then maybe we wanna mention one more specific thing or scenario so we can split test it. Again though, for the sake of brevity, I wanna get into the next part. So now that we've agitated the problem, the final thing we could do before introducing the product is doing a failed solution section. So for instance, failed solution would be, I tried doing this. I tried flossing my teeth. I tried brushing my teeth, but it still didn't work in getting rid of this tartar. So I tried brushing my teeth after every meal and flossing once a day, but I still couldn't get rid of the plaque buildup. And then that's when we get into the product intro next. 
So again, there's multiple frameworks I use when it comes to product intros. I'll try to scroll on down to show you a few lines. So when it comes to introducing your product, these lines are very formulaic. So feel free to copy one of these lines right here. So that's when my friend you know, recommended this product or that's why I decided to start using whatever the name of the product is or that's when I found this product on TikTok, et cetera, that I wanted to use. So I could see a good line being, so I decided to start using this ultrasonic tooth cleaner that even my dentist uses. And then after that, we're gonna have multiple benefits. We're gonna have multiple call to action as well because that's really important to split test because you really don't know what's going to work i know right now what's working the best for me is doing swipe left to get yours today and i would imagine the action would be possibly the creator holding the product while talking to the camera selfie style so again for the actions you kind of have to imagine to your head what do you think is going to be the most engaging visual way and you think it would be self-explanatory to say yeah obviously they're going to film in their bathroom but i have had scenarios where creators will be filming kitchen products in their bedroom you never can trust people 100 percent, especially if you're working with them for the first time so try to make it dummy proof even though obviously every single ugc creator is an absolute genius they're a nasa level scientist they're just deciding to do ugc on the side so now we have to get into the benefits that people care about so again i would go through my reviews i would try to get the lines that people care about in fact i even used chat gpt and i did a quick little prompt here to see what benefits it would come up with that are more emotional i only care about the emotional transformation what is the desire my target audience wants so as we can see right here, have a newfound confidence in your smile. That's a really good line. I love that. Have your teeth free from plaque so you can show these babies to the world with confidence. Also like that. And then of course, yeah, fresh breath is a big one too. Eliminates the root cause of bad breath. So these would be the specific things that I have as benefits. So let's copy this line over here and I'll just try to turn into a quick benefit because obviously we need to make sure each one of these lines is about four to six seconds. So I would imagine we do maybe want to have a product demo line before benefits that kind of explains how how this product works so that it vibrates it has multiple settings or there's a certain feature that allows it to get rid of tartar effectively without hurting your teeth so that might be a good information point we put in as a product demo but for now let's just stick with benefits so okay let's just assume they already know that it works blah 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 blah. so with this line the plaque guard eliminates the root cause of bad breath giving me the assurance of fresh clean breath that leaves a lasting positive impression so obviously this is really long and i want to make it sound human in a way so let's say maybe now with my plaque gone forever i have amazing breath um it's an interesting one so i could see this being an interesting line so this tool also eliminates the root cause of my bad breath allowing me to have fresh clean breath every single day now i only have so much time left but this would be how i would go through the entire process of doing the lines obviously thinking of the actions but now let's try to think of just one more ad angle we could possibly do and what visual can we do outside of doing a problem solution ad now i could see an ad where someone who has amazing white teeth and amazing breath is talking about their daily routine to actually achieve that because everyone wants to know the secret the tea the gatekeeping what products are you using to get that desired result because we don't realize there's a lot of hard work or it's just plain genetic genetics and we didn't win that genetic lottery but we always think there's going to be some sort of hack so i could see that being an angle where it's like hey if you want my teeth this is exactly what i do or it could be a TikTok comment bubble of someone asking how do you get your teeth so white and then the person's like well let me put you on to this cool tool that i found on TikTok that i've been using for years and swear by so that hook could be them responding to a TikTok bubble but again the whole ad angle is talking about how we have this desired result people want and we're going to share the tea so while that could be one hook of the TikTok response bubble another one could be just b-roll clips of the person smiling and looking happy and you just see how white it is and then it's a voiceover behind them saying this this is my secret to how I get my teeth so white all the time. So if it was more of a how-to video of how I get my teeth to be this white all the time, then I would just have pretty much a step-by-step -step instruction of how to use the product. It would be more like a product demo ad. So it'd be how to get teeth like mine. Well, every morning I start, I floss my teeth, but my real secret is this tartar removing product called the plaque guard. And basically I use this for a minute every single day and it gets rid of all the plaque buildup around my teeth and gums. And another benefit could be now when I first started using it, I was a little skeptical because I hate using needles, but it's actually really comfortable around my teeth and they never feel any better than after I've used it. So you could also have a benefit about saving money a little bit later on. So my teeth are always perfectly clean. So I no longer have to even go to the dentist anymore. So that saves me hundreds of dollars. Or when I go to the dentist, they never have to clean my teeth because I'm already using the same tools that they would use on me for a fraction of the price. And that could be an interesting hook too. So you could say like, hey, how do you get your teeth so white as a TikTok response bubble or comment bubble? And the person's hook is, 
yeah, my teeth are really white and I don't even go to the dentist. Now, obviously I'll probably rephrase that a little bit, but I like a hook idea of, I don't even go to the dentist yet my teeth are healthier than most people. And obviously you have to go through the process of filling out the exact actions that you want, the settings and all this stuff. But this is exactly how I create my profitable UGC ads for all of my clients. So again, if you want my team to go through this exact process, do all the heavy lifting and work and coming up with these ideas, and also reach out to our creator network to get these filmed and edited, you can book a call down below so that we can help you scale your brand to six figures a month.